Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner on our hard mode adventure. We are heading straight back out. We are in the mists of trying to uh, deliver our medium logs now. All the long logs have been done. At the end of the last, or part of the last episode, we managed to get our first medium log delivery to the farm. So we've got one more load to, uh, to take out to the farm and then the second load that's with us will go, I believe it's going to uh, town storage, yeah, to the town storage. So that's where that will head to, and then we'll have two more to head to town storage, and we will be finished in Black River. We will actually finally be done here, and then we'll concentrate on doing the medium log deliveries in um, the dam, making progress. Which is good. I do apologise if I sound a little bit funny today. The kids are back at school, so that means everything <laughs> gets brought home. Every germ that you can think of. So I am stuffy and snuffly. I do apologise. If it gets too much, I will try and edit it all out. But hopefully our White Western is going to be good for us for a few... Well, say for a few episodes, but we've got a few more episodes to go. If we can get, hopefully we will get both of these deliveries done here in Black River today. If it goes well, we might even um, be able to, to move whatever setup we've got in in here in Black River into the dam. That would be handy, and then we can uh, start on dam deliveries next time out. But there's still, still probably like 10, 11 loads. I think including these two, 10, 11 loads to deliver. And then obviously I've got to have my, uh, my, my big clear up, which probably won't take that long because we've not got a lot of fuel out there. But it is sort of spread. So when it comes to that episode, that one might be our first sort of edited down episode, whereas I'll... I'll take as long as I need to get that done and cleared up and brought everything brought to the garages uh, so then we can start obviously our next our next adventures in Alaska fresh we'll, we'll see but we're, that's that's still some uh, that's still some episodes away I'm going to try, like I keep saying, I'm going to try my best to be as consistent as I can with this going forwards. The last two, so the last two, I forget how many we've done now. Yeah, I think it was two last two episodes went out quite well, I think. Got them recorded nice and close together. Easy, easy, easy. At the point of recording this, we've had a lot going on in the family, so um, some content did sort of quieting down again in itself, but that, that really couldn't be helped. I uh, appreciate the support while uh, while I was quiet. F fortunately, um, the schedule was pr pretty well stocked with um, trucking. So we had that going out there. We didn't have no live streams and, and anything for a while, but we have to, uh, we have to crack on. Last lot to the farm. This is. It does feel good to start. Start ticking these jobs off. We've done a fair few <laughs> deliveries without collecting any payment. 
So since we shouldn't have any real expenditure, our trucks are set up, everything's good. This is all money in the bank. There we go. I wish it I wish I could pick. Perhaps I could, but I don't read. I wish I could pick that it comes out of the back rather than out of the out of the front. We'll take the safe and easy route into uh, town storage. No need to risk anything. We haven't been down this way in a while anyway, I don't think. We took the... Uh, what was it, the Chevy? Yeah, I think we took the Chevy, the, the Kodiak. I think we took that back uh, through, the, or through one part of the river anyway. But as always, thank you, uh, thank you all for coming back. Those that do come back and uh, <laughs> and watch these and follow this series, I do appreciate you. Because, like I've said, this is a game that I absolutely love. Um, during my downtime, I played a lot of Snowrunner on my console. It's sort of a, it's like my comfort food. It's one that you can just sort of sit with and and do. So my my, my console save in the lounge that that got a little bit of progression on it. And I think nearly, nearly because I'm playing Alaska and Tamir at the same time, so you sort of flittering between the two. Uh, so they're both nearly finished. So on console, I'm <laughs> finally after four, year, four and a half years, finally ready to see my first DLC map. <laughs> oh dear. Speaking of DLC, I um, did recently see an article uh, that was sort of covering uh, some, some Reddit posts and video and stuff like that um, on the possibilities of a fifth season, a uh, fifth year, sort of fifth year pass for SnowRunner. Um, now, I, I didn't think we'd get one with uh, Roadcraft coming out and there being expeditions as well. And other games in the pipeline, but the uh, the executives at Saber have said if the community is active, if the game has players even after Roadcraft releases, then they see no reason why they couldn't continue to put out Snowrunner content as well, which sounds awesome. But I'm worried that it sounds a stretch. Um, but the uh, the interview sort of went on. And saying like it, if they were to continue with Snowrunner, it shouldn't affect expeditions and it shouldn't affect Roadcraft because they all have their own individual teams that are working on them. That's not the same people. So that's pretty. That's pretty cool. I mean, I for one will be one that's still playing because I've, I've yet to finish. And because Roadcraft isn't. Um, like a, a, a direct sequel to Snowrunner. It's not Snowrunner 2, it is its own game. Let's get this done. So we need to go get two more. Yeah, it is its own game. Um, it uses some of the... Uh, obviously the, the vehicle physics and engines and stuff like that. That is, that is all part of that. But the actual game engine itself is running off of the same engine as um, Space Marines 2, which is entirely different, but that is a juicy, juicy engine, juicy game, graphics-wise. Um, they were saying that they couldn't do the ground deformation to the level that they wanted to, running off the same engine as Expeditions and Snowrunner and, and Mudrunner. So. A new engine to do all that. So yeah, that it is its own thing. It's not Snowrunner 2. It is, as I put it, it, is the next evolution in in the game and series because it it takes from Snowrunner, it takes from Expeditions, then it adds more to it. But it, it isn't Snowrunner 2, and Snowrunner could continue on even after. And I would be more than happy with that. I I like that. Um, 
that way of doing game. I can't think of the word that I'm asked for. But, yeah, I like that. That way of running a game with the regular um, updates, regular editions. But even if it's not like four, three or four new regions a year. If they, you know, give us two, two regions a year now. Reduce the cost of maybe the, the year pass or something. And, uh, or just do them as standalones. Don't even do them as a pass. Just like, yep, we're going to release in May and October. New maps, new content. I think that would be pretty cool. I, I like how uh, SCS um, grows and improves on um, ATS and ETS. I, I like that format. And that definitely worked with something like Snowrunner. New regions, new terrains, new challenges, just new tasks. I'd even be happy if they retroactivated stuff so we could go back. <laughs> Not that I've left the, the old maps, but go back to old maps. So like new challenges maybe come in to Michigan or to um, Tymere or Amur or anywhere. Anywhere that we've already been. They sort of did that with the logging, when the logging was added in, like everywhere suddenly got logging. So as long as as long as there are players, the future is still bright for SnowRunner, which I think is awesome. Because I love this game. Um, I think in, in that in that same interview, um, sort of they were asked about um, expeditions and whether that was a failed game and what have you, but they said with um, the recent addition to the, the first uh, sort of expansion into the caves and stuff that came. Um, the, obviously the player base then grew again because there was more content and then um, with its then quite recent addition to Game Pass as well, I think it was at the same time or almost simultaneous as the uh, the content release, it went on to Game Pass and obviously you get a, a nice influx of new players there so then I guess if that goes well, it could then turn up on um, Sony's subscription service so then there's another lot, load of new players um, I think a lot of People forget a lot of the success maybe on, on the console side with SnowRunner. Um, SnowRunner's been in Game Pass for years. I think since maybe year two it's, it's been there. So a lot of the you know, a lot of players have come from there and probably then added on their expansions and what have you, or even brought the game in a sale, because you know, Game Pass gives you a discount if you buy it and then games that are in Game Pass regularly go on sale to help promote the sale of it. So on Steam as well, regular regular sales it helps to boost the the players. I mean, my my copy is from Epic, but yeah, I've often considered <laughs> buying a third copy of Snowrunner just so I can redo it all for the achievements on uh, on Steam. Those, those regular viewers and that watch and those that are in my Discord will tell me I don't need any more games, certainly not any more uh, repeated copies of games, but I would happily do it all again. I did install it for a little while off of Game Pass PC so I was uh, and played it there as well, so I was playing the the Xbox version. I was playing my this, this save and I had two saves on here. I had my stream save and this hard mode save. And um, yeah, I installed it from Game Pass PC, so I was playing the Windows version there as well. But I'd start to get very confused in what I had done and what I hadn't done and where I was at. So uh, the, the Windows, the uh, the Game Pass Windows version, that I'd installed to prevent me getting more confused than I uh, than I regularly am. consumed half of our fuel and, and last time we, we've been loading these ones in manually uh, we might go back not manually, automatically, we might go back to a bit of manual loading uh, when we get into UGB Flick, when we get into the dam but I, I'm, we, we manualed all of the long ones I'm not worried about especially since it only cost us um, 
was it, 150 I think they've cost, so it's not a lot. Well, I think we can do a little repair here as well, can we not? Oh, we can, can repair off ourselves, that's alright. Um, oh yeah, we'll take him out of the log trailer, because, you know, that's a bit naughty anyway. Going. Yeah, I thought they were going to cost us more than 150. It's a good job this is our last lot. I don't think we could um, churn this up much more if we tried. I am so pleased that we are making making headway again here on this one. Because Alaska and Time are a lot of fun. They have obviously their own challenges. They're quite different. Alaska with the ice and just the way that things are set out. Got some some large loads in Alaska, and then time here when we when <laughs> when we finally get to time here for in the new year, um, the mud there. Some of the mud there is horrific. It's insane. I have I have vehicles um, that I want to get using as well. Like I, like I said way back when we start, I want to try and work in some modded vehicles just so it's a little bit different. We can try some different stuff. Nothing that's too super OP. Um, I want to try and get it so every new map that we go to, hopefully, well not every, but most of the new maps that we go to, uh, we start with a new vehicle. Unless I don't really want nothing else and I'm happy with what I've got. But I've already said I want to get the uh, the modded load star. Uh, the one that we used in the stream uh, playthrough that we did on Twitch. That that stream playthrough is still available to watch here on YouTube. On the tube. Yeah, I want to get that load star because that was fun. Um, it'll make the early um, scouting a little bit easier, a little bit quicker, so we can get stuck into the meat and veg of it. And I do already have a truck picked out for the start of uh, Time Air as well. That'll be different from any one that I've seen used as well. So. That's when we get there. And I think when we get close to the end of time here, I'm, I might put up some community posts, some polls in the community posts, to uh, give like uh, a choice of maybe three places that we go to next. I've been, I've been thinking of different ways of trying to run it. I've been wondering whether we, you know, do we do these first three and then sort of tick through and do all the American maps in no specific order? I'll just keep putting them up for people to vote on as we come to the end of each map. And then go to Russian maps. Do I just go random with any of them? Do we go all Russian and then all... American? I don't know. Oh, they're not all Russian. They, they, they used to be Russian, and now it's Eurasian because there are some other parts added to it. But that's where the, that's where further expansions could be good because we could we could see some other areas of, of the world, especially since it is Eurasian. Like if we could get, you could get, uh, I don't know, a delivery region like of the Alps and stuff like that. So it's, it's, it's steep, it's mountainous. Snow, rock, little villages. I don't know. There could be something there. I've gone, uh, gone a different way, but that's fine. This, this'll do. This wasn't where I was intended on going. I was chatting away. This'll do. I was going to cut across the river. I was going to do my double river cut, but we can do this one. This is all right.
a nice simple route. So it's not necessarily the rush. We'll have, we'll have finished this contract and then um, we can use the night in the morning to move things through and try and get set up in the dam. We could have just, if I'd have thought about it, we could have just um, towed the, uh, the Land Rover along behind us if get a bit snaky here it could have just told the land over behind to, uh, to save me some time but I wasn't thinking I was just enjoying cracking on and having a chat I remember back many years ago now when we first started playing this and I used to be quite fearful just of that little dip. <laughs> now we just sort of fly through it. Not a care in the world. I think back when I first started, I you know, still getting an understanding of the grip of the game and what the trucks did and, and what have you. I was trying to get that GMC to do so much. I think I said a while back, I, I did start, okay, I did start a new save to try to do your things differently, and um, I did so much with that GMC before I had to finally give in and, and move on to a better truck. I tried to go as long as I could before setting up the, uh, the Fleet Star. $22,450, it's about time we got some cash money. Uh, 142 grand, that is not a lot. <laughs> That's not a lot. There we dear. Right. We'll get the... Uh, excuse me, we'll get the White Western up to the gateway, and then we'll go and get the Land Rover. That'll be our manoeuvres. and gear changes. They, they cause a problem when you don't really need them. No reason for issues, my friends. No reason for the issues at all. I think this is where the big difference has come in with um, regular <laughs> what is going on here the regular game mode and hard mode it's so easy and th that's when I tend to use it anyway like not actually for recovery but just for convenience of getting about the maps 
So just it's so easy to just hit recover, send it to the garage, and then just pull it out <laughs> in the dam rather than having to drive through everywhere. So where is it? The landing. Yeah, I think the the most use, um, the recovery gets from me, is probably when I'm sitting at the garage anyway. <laughs> I just want to pop in and do something, quickly change something. I'm like, like I'm already at the garage. Just can't be bothered to drive to the bit. When you when you deploy a, a vehicle and I think, oh no, I meant to do something else first, but rather than drive around the other side of the garage. Oh, wheels on. Oh, we run out of fuel. I said, like, what are we going on? We run out of fuel. <laughs> run out of fuel, but not. There we go. So we had no power, and then we stopped. Come on. There we go. Why do I feel like something's not right? Come on. We're normally flying around. Yes, quite often, you know, if I do, if I do happen to roll a truck, which never seems to happen on my normal <laughs> normal playthrough, if I do happen to roll a truck, I, I go and I, I tip it back up the right way round. I, I do it properly. If I can't be bothered to just drive across the map, it's a recovery. It's a convenience tool when you've not got a lot of time to, uh, to play. That's what it is. Now we're moving. But we could we could easily get about and do some stuff with the Land Rover in Alaska. I think just. You know, we used it a lot. Is is it's been a great, great vehicle for us. I think maybe um, something new would be nice. Why do I? Why does this feel like all weird and wrong? Is it just because of the trailer? That's definitely because of the trailer. There you go, of course. Of course, of course. I want to connect something over there if I can. Nope. In front? Anything in front? Let me uh, tow myself across. Dude, I'm not even looking in that direction. There we go. Yeah, sometimes I think we expel more fuel just trying to move the fuel. That is for certain. I'm not going to be sorry to see the back of this crossing. <laughs> not going to lie. Although we do have a, a challenging crossing for some other deliveries coming ahead, so... It's not all easy going from here on out. Not at all. 
I feel like the most inept Spider-Man when it doesn't just go where you want it to. There we go. <laughs> that used up way too much. Way, way, way too much fuel. <laughs> Big impact. Finally have arrived. Took forever. That's I'm just getting impatient. Get that. Well, actually, what we'll do, we will um, change trucks. Follow us. All good. All good. That's how we should have been doing it anyway. What is telling us to do about? Oh, that's because it's, there's medium logs there. So let's make sure we're on the right jobby as well. So A to the island is Drummond. It's the mediums and then at arm's reach. Island Lake. And then these are all here. So after the Forester's house and Bill's house. So I think we've got Bill's house at the top. He wants two lots of mediums. And then the forest's house is over that way. All good. I thought there was more here. And then everything else is then going through gateways. Fine, 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 fine. Love it.
Oh, let's just put the all wheel drive on. Let's get there quicker. Gonna yeah, I'm gonna take it all the way with me. I think there's enough fuel in there to do some of the things I wanna do. I'm starting to feel a little bit confident this is gonna do better than the rest of the series has gone. Maybe login and log delivery should be my thing because it's about to jinx it, but it's gone pretty well. That's it, keep pushing, keep pushing. Pinch some fuel from here, do you think? Oh, I can. That's the way you do it. If I. Oh, can I? Not that way. Right, so if I. Jump over here. Should be able to refuel. I want it to come out the back. I want to get the Land Rover and this camel. I think I might, I might as well just jam that all in there. And I don't need this anymore. it. Oh. <laughs> Lost. <laughs> I forgot about that when you uh, changed. You'd obviously drop your... There we go. What was I then saying about it going well? Like hiccup. 
was all that was. Slight logistical hiccup. We have a lot of those. That's not for me. Yeah, there's. I, th I think there's going to be enough fuel within the the Land Rover to uh, to do the two delivery jobs that are here, and then we should be able to then make it down to south of the map to grab more fuel as we as we pass through. I believe. If not, someone's doing a fuel run. What happened there, buddy? What happened to you? I thought we had an autonomous winch. Huh? Guess not. Oh. Don't need you just yet, so I'm not going to worry about it. For these, I am going to go auto. It's just going to be quicker at the moment. And we're going to go to uh, Forrester's house, which is just one lot of medium logs. So we've already <laughs> rolled <laughs> our fuel truck, so when I said I'm about to jinx it, I clearly was. Sorry, it's in the air, we soon flip that over. was only one to the Forester, wasn't it? Yeah. The sort of annoying one is the uh, the three going into Island Lake, because it means you have to go out and come back in again. Once we're in Island Lake, I suppose, yeah, once we're in Island Lake, we can go get a single out of the the, 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 um, the logging site there, I guess. And bring it across, that'd be fine, that'd be fine. And then we'll most likely use the Island Lake logging site to deliver to Drummond. Because that's, although it's muddier, it's still much more efficient than trying to weave our way all the way up the mountain every time. Well, not the mountain, but up the hillside with logs. Because that's um, 
two runs as well when doing doubles. This one done. We'll go back up around. I'm not going to try and negotiate through the, uh, the shortcut through the woods at night. Not worth the hassle. Not worth the risk. Making that progress. Making that progress. Making that progress. So let's oh dear, let's go try and recover the uh, the landy because um, I think we want to go that way anyway. I'm pretty sure I want to go that way. Delivering at the front, up and round. Yeah. So that is sort of blocking the route. Don't know what's happened to the uh, autonomous winch on it. Perhaps we took that out and replaced it with something stronger. Maybe. I don't know. doesn't need to be moved far. Just off the road. I just wanted the fuel here. Because I know I'm going to have to come back. So it's got the trailer yet. And this one is a double, so we'll put the uh, the trailer back on. I did not think that I would get, and I haven't done them yet, but I didn't think I'd get Black River finished. And these two deliveries here today. So this is pretty good. This is pretty good.
you know, paying for the logs definitely, you know, speeds up the process. Because I do faff about a bit, but I do like the uh, the manual, so we will be doing more manual. But other things, perhaps we'll we'll do we always manual long logs, and we'll pay for the mediums because it's not that much money. And um, yeah, we will eventually over the maps uh, build up an abundance of cash. We will. That will happen. We won't run out. We. <laughs> We might, we might run out if I keep rolling trucks, but we shouldn't. We've got enough cash to uh, recover ourselves ten times without having to sell a vehicle, so we're good. And we'll get paid a good wage for this one, and then we'll get paid a good wage for delivering into Drummond. It could be close to 200 grand. It could be. I don't know. Maybe not that much. <laughs> but we will We will have money. Like I say, we already already picked out our truck for Alaska. And that's, that should make scouting and just doing the initial you know, setup get. Hit the watchtowers, find our upgrades, maybe do one or two of the little tasks before getting stuck into, the, like I say, getting stuck into the meat and veg of the map with the lodestar. I haven't gone past my turn in, have I? No. Yeah, and the uh, the load start with a little bit of tune up is going to cost us about eighty, somewhere between eighty and ninety grand, I think. But it'll be fun. Just gotta take the time to find the right one. Now we can try and get ourselves across. Come on. Oh, that's not a good one. is thick. I could have just detached the trailer and, and then pulled it with my winch. It would have felt much lighter for us, but... You know, since when do we do things the easy way around here? We are probably getting stuck in this. Oh, it's because I think there'll be diff on. That'll be why. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, un unusually tricky. Didn't need to be. Apologies to anyone that was screaming, turn your diff on. I thought it was.
Come on, girl. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Right. Beautiful. Right, let's try and get around the back. Not always easy. There we go. We did it. Did it. See what we can get done before seven. about five. Oh, it's nearly six. Okay. Damn trailer. Damn trailer. Same time. Come on. It's this sort of crap that you don't need, isn't it? It's this sort of crap that really gets on your wick. There we go. That wasted our hour. <laughs> that was our that was our morning bit that. But that's why I don't go up that one. That one is uh, a little bit of a you know still swings and roundabouts thing, and do you do you tackle the trees or do you tackle the mud? <laughs> Under a full load I'd rather try and tackle the mud. Than try and bounce that around with logs on it going that way. Up. So we're going to put our load on. And this, as you can see, is going into Island Lakes to the sawmill. Probably going to use an extra minute just to get us set up on the uh, the Land Rover ready to go. Got to leave us parked in the mud. That'll do us. On the dot. Look at that. Perfect. So that is it for this episode. A productive one. We finished the farm. We did all the deliveries to um, town centre. Finishing that job off. Come through. We've delivered to the forester's house. We've done double up to bar. Next time out we will do... Or we'll head into Island Lake. Um, it, it's probably going to take a good chunk of the next episode to, to reach Island Lake because we're going to be doubles on the logs and pulling the Land Rover through, I think. So we'll, we'll just see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but hopefully you've enjoyed this one. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful day and hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.